Hello and welcome to our first ever virtual stand-up show from the Comedy Conglomerate at Virginia Tech. I'm your host, Nico Bruno, and tonight we're going to be having a great time. Are you guys ready? No one's here. And that's because I'm not anywhere. I'm in my house, in my basement, you know? And we're all in the same boat of just being stuck at home with COVID. So tonight we're going to try and, you know, lighten the mood. Tell a few jokes, make you laugh, make you feel something, you know? And hopefully I can do that, and a lot of these other comedians tonight can do that as well. So we got a great show for you tonight, and we're gonna say some adult things. So that's our little disclaimer. We're gonna say some, you know, swear words. We're gonna have some adult content, so be warned. Um, so yeah, should be a good time. Enjoy the show. And I'm right back. Okay, so our first comedian tonight is none other than Brandon Alamanesto. You might have known him from my promo video and his quirky little humor. He's writing a novel in his free time with all this quarantine. Give it up for Brandon! Hopefully he comes off that way. Hey everyone, it looks like I'm your first stand-up comic tonight. And, well, I guess I'm sitting down. Well, yeah, that's right, Nico. I can sit down if I want to. This is my home. You can't make us stand up. Yeah, that's right. What are you going to do about it, huh? You going to come over here and hurt me, huh? I'll come over there. You think I won't? Huh? What was that, Nico? You think I won't? You want to know what I can do with one of these? Huh? Huh? You think I won't? I got my disposable water bottle. I got this. You don't want to find out. I'll go over there. You think I won't? Oh, you don't think I won't? What? What does that even mean, you don't think I won't? Huh? You do not think that I will not do? Huh? Huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to sit down. Huh? I'll break all the rules, too. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I edited the video, too. I cut it. What stand-up show is that, huh? Yeah, that's great. I bet you all are wondering why I have a keyboard next to me. I'm also wondering that myself. <laughs> now for my set. <laughs> you know, what's the deal with you? This just, you know, this is just not going to work. You can't do stand-up online. It doesn't make any sense. There's no crowds, you know? I just, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to talk about what I've been up to because I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Improv, yeah. I don't know. What have I been doing a lot? I don't know. I've been uh, I've been swiping a lot on uh, Tinder, you know? Like Tinder, you know? Swipeity swipe, you know? swipe -a you know? This, that, all that. Yeah, I don't even know. Fuck it. I'm not really taking Tinder that seriously. I don't date online. Doesn't make any sense. But, you know, I'm not really getting a whole lot of the, the matches anymore. I don't know what's going on. Is it my face? Is it something I said? Is it my... Is it this? Is it the mustache? I don't know. I think it looks pretty good, you know? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, what do you guys think? What? I, useless, right? There's no crowd. You can't do stand up here. It doesn't make any sense. All right. So what I thought I would do for you guys is to find out why I'm not getting so many matches. So I'm going to do a thing that's, you know, nothing wrong with it, but I'm going to switch my settings to guys. Yeah. No homo. Nothing wrong with that anyway. I'm just saying settings switch to, oh, where is it? men that way i'm gonna see what kind of competition i have and maybe i'll figure out the roots of this i don't know let's see going over da, da, da. oh what is what is this what instantly what do i do here what, what does he say his name's angel is that a real name god his instagram is fallen angel how is this competition to me i is it <sighs> swipe left. No. What if I swipe right on someone? Is that weird? Uh, I can't be that weird, right? I don't know. It's 2020. I don't know. Denny! Yeah, I didn't know pneumonia was a place until the fifth grade. Nope. Oh, God. This is my competition? Is this seriously my competition? What? What's my hair here? I don't. I don't. What? What? He's dressed like the Joker. I don't look like a Joker. I make jokes, but I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Trent, look at Trent. Why am I going crazy? I don't know. Hmm. Trying to add to my hoodie collection. That it doesn't work that way, does it? Does it work the other way? Doesn't it? Don't the girls take the hoodies instead of the guy? Is it? Uh, oh, no, he, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Daniel! 
Hoodie over the flannel. Great. Should I start doing that? I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, wait, there's no one here. It is okay. It's okay. It's okay. I bet you guys are all wondering why I have a keyboard here. I'm also wondering that myself. Oh, this guy looks pretty creative. I'm not going to lie. He's, he's open. I don't know. This is, this is a strange world we live in. Oh, God. Why? What did I do? What did I do that don't get the matches? And these people are getting the matches. I don't understand. Like, what is, who use, I'm confused. Is this, uh, I, don't, I don't know. University of Delaware? Is that even a state? Oh, his, his thing is Wawa or Sheets. You can't see that. Oh, God. Mm, no, no, no. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what, what's going on here? Like, this, this what about this? Huh? Not this? Huh? I may not be super pretty, but I got a strong-ass immune system. Is that what's attractive these days? Huh? I got a decent immune system. Huh? I got my puffer, you know? That's all I need these days, you know? I don't know. Hmm. Oh! Whew. Okay. What happens if I swipe right on something? Should I just do that? What, what if I... What if I just swipe right? I don't... I, I don't know. Hmm. I thought these would be a lot funnier, you know, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh no, what, who does this? You know, I'm starting to realize this is what girls have to go through. They have to look at this, they have to deal with this, and I'm starting to feel sympathy for them and realize that maybe I'm a douchebag too. Oh my God, what am I a douchebag? It's, I got my mustache, I got the puffer, I got the cutter, cause I'll cut you, Nico, I'll cut you. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I edited it again, Nico. You can't do anything about that because I pre-edited it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I bet you're wondering why I brought a keyboard here. I'm also wondering that myself. Oh, I said that three times already. All right. Thank you, everybody. This was not a professional set. My hair is looking strange, and I can't wait for you guys to see our next comic, Harris Edenbaum or Nico Bruno. I'm not sure exactly, but thank you, and I'll see you next time. Wow, damn, that was fire, Brandon. I don't know which way you came off of because there's no stage. But, honest to God, great comedian there, right there, Brandon. Our next comedian is Harris Edenbaum. He's my favorite Jew. It's right around Passover, guys. Give it up for Harris Edenbaum! Thank you, Nico, for reminding me for the 50th time today that yes, it is in fact Passover, just in case the terrible food wasn't enough of a reminder. Now, we celebrate Passover with what's called a Seder, which means in Hebrew to sit for two hours while you read a book and say prayers, except that you start it right around dinner time and everyone's hungry and no one wants to be there. So, um, naturally I pregame the Seder. Now, one of the redeeming aspects of the Seder is that you really don't have to pregame it because in the book it says, drink four glasses of wine. So I pregame with my spirit of choice, leftover Chinese takeout. Now my dad walked in on me pregaming. It was like, Harris, why are you eating? We're about to eat dinner. Have you ever been to a Seder before? Like, at least an hour. So the worst part of a Seder is by far dessert. I mean, normally dessert's pretty great, but in Passover you can't use wheat. So the dessert all tastes terrible. I mean, just give me some damn broccoli here. Now, uh, I decided that I was going to spend my self-isolation working out and exercising and eating well and losing weight. Sometime around week two, I was just like, you know what? I bet I could save some time. Just put my ice cream right on top of the pizza. One of the things I don't miss about school is the gym. Not because I don't like working out, but because I hate running into people. That's not because I don't like talking to people. More because they see me, and they're like, oh my god, he really does work out. He really does eat that much. I hate being white. I mean, don't get me wrong, the whole like money thing is kind of nice, but like, sunburns.
The other day I was doing work, realized I was getting a sunburn. So I went and I grabbed my 100 SPF, stepped outside, sprayed it all over my body, realized it would have been a lot easier to just turn the light off. Over the summer, I went to, uh, on vacation with my family to Bermuda. Everyone kept talking about the white sand beach. You have to see the white sand beach. So we got in a bus, we went over to see the white sand beach, and we got to the beach, and everyone was right. All the sand was sheet white, but I was thoroughly disappointed. I looked down and my feet were whiter. Over uh, winter break, we went to the National Zoo, and on the way out, my dad noticed there was a so no sign banning pet bringing pets to the zoo. You know that the budget's getting low when they let visitors bring snacks from the zoo animals. Over break, I also went to Luray Caverns. Fun fact about Luray Caverns, they weren't discovered until 1878. That's just pathetic. How the heck do you miss the, I mean, I get you like miss the caverns or under the ground, whatever, but how the heck do you miss the giant building on top saying, welcome to the beautiful Luray Caverns? That's just sad. So while I'm at home, there's a lot of kind of wild things going on. I mean, we're all self-isolating because of COVID and, uh, you know, this college student in the house that goes to a college 300 miles away. There's a suicidal bird in the backyard. No, really, there's a suicidal bird in the backyard. This thing is also really bad at killing itself. It keeps flying against the window. It just doesn't work. My dad's really been trying to help it, though. You see, first he started shooting with a Nerf gun. But that didn't work. So he was like, you know what? Instead of trying to help it kill itself, I'm gonna try and make it feel better so it doesn't kill itself. So he put a birthday balloon out in front of the window and that didn't work, he kept flying into the window. So then he went to the store and bought a bunch of pictures of owls and hung them up all over the window. And my dad said he was taking me to Hooters. That's really not what I had in mind. So for our last comedian of the night, I'm here to introduce someone very special to me. He is extremely funny, extremely talented, extremely good looking, and extremely humble. Nico Bruno, everyone. I mean, give it up for this guy. He's really incredible. I can't wait to see his set. Wow, thank you so much for that warm, warm welcome. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Empty Chair, and thank you, Yoga Ball, and thank you, Stationary Bike. As you can see, there's no audience. I'm talking to my phone, and this is incredible. I'm having a great time. So my grandmother called me the other day, and she goes, Nika, it's, uh, you know, the weather around here is crazy. It goes from the 20s, it goes to the 60s, it goes back to the 20s, and then it snows. Can you believe that? I said, yeah, Grandma, that's climate change. She goes, uh-huh, whatever you want to call it. So my grandparents are immigrants to this country, and um, that means that they brought all of Italy with them. They came over in the 70s and they brought all the, you know, their friends. So the friends that they brought over, we call them paisans. And yeah, it translates to friends, but what it really means, it means respect and you bring a shit ton of pasta and wine over to each other's houses. So these paisans, okay, you know, they're minorities, they're immigrants to this country, they're blue collar workers. They work all their lives being far left and Democrats. And then they retire. And they're like, you know what? Let's change it up a little bit. We're spicy. We're Italians. We like to spice it up. Now they're Republicans. They support Trump's immigration policy. They support ICE. And I just think it's awesome. You know, go them. You know, immigrants who don't support immigrants, blue collar workers who support the top 1%. Gotta love it. I mean, you know, um, I recently got some bad news. I think a lot of people did. And the reality is, this will never happen. And that was heartbreaking to me. Bernie Sanders, I love that guy, okay? He was my messiah. He was my savior. He was going to die for our sins so we could live eternally. I may have messed him up with someone else, but I really was upset. I mean, Bernie represented a lot of the hope and progressive reforms I think our country needed to make everyone treated fairly and equal. Um, so according to the media now, and the information they give us on how we need to vote, I have to choose between 
a guy who sexually assaults people and a rapist. I mean, allegedly, we don't know for sure. But Bernie has made it pretty clear that we're supposed to support the dementia-ridden, wrinkly old man from the 60s. And yeah, that's Biden, which is so weird to me. I mean, Biden, sure, he doesn't have the same social policies. He doesn't have the same, you know, progressive movement that Bernie had behind him. And sure, every time he says a speech, he has to say something a little bit racist. But when he does it, it's not racist, sexist, xenophobic. Because Biden just forgets he's in the 60s. He's not actually doing it intentionally. He's not racist. He's just forgetful. And I don't think we should be mad at him for that. But when Trump does it, it's completely intentional. He hates, I mean, well, he doesn't hate him. He is racist, sexist, and xenophobic. And I think that Bernie Bros are just pissed. They're thinking to themselves, you know what? If we all collectively come together, Bernie could still win this. Guys, we can't win this, okay? We can't just write him in in November. That's not gonna happen. And I think Bernie made it perfectly clear we gotta support the wrinkly old guy who can't give a speech over the some bleach misogynist who only gives speeches about racist stuff. I mean, the guy yesterday, he addressed the nation and he talked about how everyone needs to wear a mask to keep everyone safe. And then go follows by saying, I'm not wearing a mask. Why would I do that? It really does, you know, make you think, why do we even trust this guy if he's telling us to do something but he won't do it himself? Um, and I think we just need to realize that while we may not like Biden, that the wrinkly old guy, oh, the, <laughs> whoops, forgot the, the sun bleached floppy hair guy, monster is way worse than the wrinkly old Biden. So onto some other stuff, less politically charged. Um, I'm at home, as you can see, by my lovely basement decor back here. And that's because of my little friend, COVID-19. And I just have a few words to say to COVID-19. Um, fuck you. I mean, honestly, what's the nerve of you? You come in here, you ruin my freshman year, you ruin a lot of people's senior years in college and high school, you literally treat old people like dog shit, and you're killing people for no reason? This is unbelievable. Why are you targeting Italy? You got something against my family and my heritage? God damn it, you're a racist, horrible person. No, but for real, I hate this so much. I can't stand being by myself and not talking to anyone. Like, I've just been stuck at home with the family, and you know, that's great. But right now, it's not. And I just can't deal with this anymore. I mean, it's really hard to hang out with my friends because we're all over the country, you know? It's a long commute. And we're not doing that right now, you know? Social distancing. But the Zoom hangout gals are getting boring as fuck. Yesterday, my friend balanced a pencil on his nose for an hour and a half, well, attempted to. And that was the highlight of my day. The highlight. I can't keep doing this. It's unbelievable. And not only are my friendships taking a toll, my relationship took a toll. It said, it's, I mean, it's still continuing just without me a part of it, which kind of sucks, but you know, I'm working on it. And the whole thing is, in this current time, there's nothing to do besides check my phone. And I feel 90% of the time I check my phone, no one's texted me. So why the fuck do I even check it? But the other 10%, I'm still getting texts from Bernie Sanders 2020. And you know what? Maybe this is a hoax, guys. Maybe we can get past this. I'm gonna go make a few calls and make sure we get Bernie in office for January 2021. Let's go Bernie Sanders. I mean, not me, us. All right, guys, that's my time. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the show for all of our comedians here tonight. Um, you know, I was your host as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did make it this far, you know, maybe leave a subscription. We'll be doing more of those, hopefully. And, you know, other sketches and stuff like that. All right, thank you, guys.